I've been talking about the music of Mozart for over 25 years now. I've been teaching it to undergraduates, I've been teaching it to graduate students, and I've also been teaching it uh, in various adult extension classes. When we taught the class last semester, uh, I had a number of my colleagues from the School of Music. This year, we're gonna have a different selection of colleagues, and we're gonna be talking about Mozart's string quartets. Uh, we're gonna be talking about some of Mozart's other chamber music, and this time, because there's so much Mozart opera to talk about, uh, we're gonna come back to that topic and look at some of his other music in that area. There's so much great music of Mozart, and this semester, we're going to look at some more of it. One of the things I'm excited to talk about in this class uh, about the music of Mozart is not just focusing on the music. We're gonna talk about his biography, a little bit of his life story. Uh, we're gonna talk about the society in which he lived. Uh, what sorts of things within that society motivated the music that he composed? Uh, so there's a lot to talk about, not just the music. Uh, but that as well. One of the topics that I, I plan to cover in the first class session is the music that Mozart wrote for the Secret Society of the Masons. Uh, that's something that, while we don't know much about the Masons, we do know about all the music that he wrote for them. Uh, so we'll try and tie that together with aspects of Mozart's life. Uh, we hope to have one of our colleagues from the Fred Fox School of Music talk about Mozart's string quartets. Uh, he's even given me a hint that he's going to bring in uh, some graduate students uh, and they're going to play for the class as well. So an opportunity to think about music, an opportunity to hear music, uh, an opportunity to just learn more about one of the greatest composers in the Western musical tradition. He was, of course, a great child prodigy, but there are a few child prodigies who actually grow up to be great musicians, to be great composers. Somehow Mozart was able to make the transition. One of the things I find most interesting about music is that it has a wonderful combination of both sophistication, but something that can appeal to anybody listening to it for the first time. Mozart has wonderful melodies, but then the music has this incredible structure uh, that I think with just a little bit of guidance anybody can hear and anybody can appreciate. So Mozart is there for somebody listening to his music for the first time, but Mozart is also there for somebody coming back to it, oh, the fifth, the tenth, maybe even the twentieth time. So I hope you'll come and join me at this Humanities Seminars, The Music of Mozart II, uh, four class sessions devoted to the music of Mozart, one of the greatest composers in the Western tradition. Uh, I hope you'll join me, my colleagues from the Fred Fox School of Music, and all of the other people who'll be taking the class. Thank you very much.